Hey everyone, hope you guys are doing well. Um, I have got a word of encouragement for you and uh, it's just going to help and equip you, make you ready for whatever is lying ahead, right? Um, I want to start with uh, 1 Samuel chapter 16 uh, verse 7. God says uh, to Samuel right after he sent him to anoint the king and uh, he saw all the candidates in Jesse's sons. And God says, hey, don't look at the outward appearance, he says. God doesn't, God, and he says, I don't look at the outward appearance. I'm not like man, God says. Man looks at what men appear like. But I look, God looks at the heart. God is always after our hearts, guys. Um, and I think it's probably the most, most, most important, you know. I think it's when Proverbs chapter 4 um, we're instructed to guard our hearts, to look after our hearts, you know, to be alert about what is happening in our hearts at, at all times. Because that's what God is after. You know, religion, religion, Jesus addresses religion in Matthew uh, chapter 23, where he addresses the, the, the um, Pharisees, and he says, you Pharisees, and he compares them to a cup, he says, you clean yourself on the outside. You make sure that you're clean on the outside, that everything looks good. Come on, you, you, make, you say your prayers on street corners where people can see and you seem righteous. But it says, but on the inside, you're full of filth. You're, you're full of extortion. And, uh, and so, so in religion or in hypocrisy, uh, whatever, nobody looks on the inside. God is concerned with what happens in the heart god wants to see uh, god wants us to be transparent and so that we can see what's in the heart god sees the heart anyway but um really if you want to enjoy a relationship with god right it's it's all about the heart it's got nothing to do with how much um, times you've prayed today if you if you had a prayer time this morning good for you uh, it's, it is important um, if you read your Bible, that's also good. If you've paid your tithes and given offerings, that's good. But if your heart is not in it, it doesn't mean anything. You know, God always looks at the at the heart. So when we do these things, He sees our hearts. All right. I love how in Psalm uh, 139, from verse 23, David says this prayer: "Says Lord, search my heart, look into my heart, see my heart, and see if there's anything." That is, that is not right, that is, that is not pleasing. And he's not trying to hide it. He's actually saying, God, expose it. Expose the thoughts that are, that are not pleasing. You know, he prays in another psalm, he says, Lord, let the meditation of my, of my heart and the, and the words of my mouth be pleasing in your sight. And uh, I just think it's about being transparent, you know, like show God what's inside of the cup. Show him, he said, Lord, this is what's going on in my heart. And even if it's not clean, and if it's not what, what we think is pleasing to God, the fact that you open up your heart to Him, He rejoices in that. And then, and then we, we pursue Him with our hearts and with our, with our lives. And I want to encourage you today, you know, maybe it's time to say, Lord, fill my cup. Lord, fill my heart. Fill me with Your presence. Fill me with, with what pleases You. Lord, uh, let your thoughts be my thoughts. Let my thoughts be your thoughts. Um, and, and just come in and, and cleanse me anew and do a new work in my life. May you be people whose hearts is after God. And, uh, and may that impact your whole life and your relationship with Jesus. He loves you. He's after your heart. And like I said, this is probably the most important, important piece of advice um, in your relationship with, with Jesus. He loves you and he's after your heart. Be blessed.